There are no words, was Yutakayama's state of mind at the end of a devastating final day, and when you see what I'm about to show you, you'll likely agree. It's really hard to be him right now. His ring name is the most prestigious Tokitsukaze stable can offer, and it was given to him ahead of university mate Shodai because, of the two, he was expected to rise the higher. Instead, Shodai finished 2020 at Ozeki, while he finished it at the foot of Division 1 after three straight losing scores. Yutakayama's sheer determination to put things right oozed from him on day one as he hacked Horshoryu's game plan to pieces with a blizzard of thrusts, ending with a Shodai-esque clamp. But, like so many these days, his left pit then fell victim to Midorifuji's special move, despite good impact with the right forearm. Over the next few days, though, he could be very pleased with his work, starting with this demolition of Akua. Once he feels Akua's slip and slant, his multi-purpose left arm, now far more than a mere thrusting tool, takes over. And on day four, that same left arm held even Musli Azumaryu in place for an exquisite leg trip. Day five, however, was one of his major regrets. Having spent the entire bout as the aggressor, dominating with his power, he was undone by a left arm pull as desperate as it was genial. If he'd only aimed for the armpit and not the face. He made up for that with faultless tactics on day six though, blocking Koto Eko's stinging charge with the right forearm, then locking hands to forestall an inside right grip. And once invited to thrust without fear of a sidestep, he's home and dry. An attempt to deal with Terutsuyoshi identically, though, backfired, as his own arm was clamped and thrown. Dusting himself down, he then staked everything on the initial charge against Ichinojo. and reaped win number five. Shaw Horzan, with his penchant for thrusts and armpit raids, suits his style perfectly. And although the double arm grip led to unexpected results, he knew what his right knee and left foot should do. His left ankle was thus clearly over September's knock. Perhaps carried away, he tried the same move again on day 10. Only this time, Ryuden's long reach proved the spanner in the works. But after squeezing a mistimed pull from Aoyama the next afternoon, Yutakayama gave himself four chances for a winning score, and guaranteed survival in the division. Four chances. Here was the first.
Thwarted by the sheer brilliance of Shimano Umi's left in creating the space for the head to do its ramming. Here was the second chance against a man also going for his winning score, and for the first time ever at this level. Obsession with Akiseyama's left likely leading to neglect of his right. His third chance also went begging, with defeat in a vicious slugfest with Kotonowaka, who withstood every withering blow before poleaxing him with an almighty right. And chance number four was the most nerve-wracking of the lot, against Myogidyu in a battle of the identical scores. And a lock on the block paved Myogidyu's route to the chest, which was all he needed to keep rank and cost Yutakayama his. How mortifying, Yutakayama told Sumo's official YouTube channel. I get to 7-4, I really want to win that one extra bout, and I just serve up shoddy Sumo again and again, which just leaves me with regrets, you know? He still desires to mix it with the biggest names, and has vowed to start putting things right in March. But, as you saw, his sumo really went to pieces at the end there, and the whirlwind romance with the double-hand clamp must not lead him to constantly betray his thrusting principles.